Okay guys, today I am going to be rating Naruto characters. Now, um, I'm not rating every single one. Like, there's a bunch of Naruto characters from Naruto to Naruto Shippuden to Naruto or to Boruto. There's a bunch. Um, I'm not going to rate a bunch of them. I'm going to rate most of them. I'm rating the ones that I know and I love. The, the, the ones that I know and love, pretty much. So yeah, some of them are villains. Some of them, most of them are, you know, heroes. Some of them are Akatsuki members. Um, I, I believe like two of them are costume. I'm gonna show off the characters soon, but yeah, rating Naruto characters. You guys know that I have used the spin the wheel thing in the past, random pick in the past. Um, yeah, I've used it with my Beyblade stuff, which is, I'm still got. I still gotta do the single layers, but I will be doing those soon. So yeah. Um, but guys, before we get into the video, I want to do guys want to show you something. I am in a different location, as you can see. I am actually in. Don't mind that. That's. Don't mind that. That's a hole in my wall. I don't. That's been there for years. But yeah, I'm actually in my own studio. Like I have a new studio. I just made my. This is the official Shidori studio, guys. This is it. This is the official Shidori studio. Um. Yeah. Uh, I got all my stuff up here and stuff like that. I got the Pockley. I got my brother, R.I.P. And then I got the poster. I got my lanyard from um, eighth grade. Okay, I guess, uh, from when I was in middle school, my days in middle school, so yeah, um, I'm making my own studio, I will show it, I'll make a whole video of it once I completely finish with it, I'm not completely finished with it yet, I am far from finished, actually, I still gotta make, like, art for the, uh, for the, like, the wall and stuff, I gotta cover all the, I'm gonna cover all this up, and then I'm gonna put, like, some lights or something, it's gonna be a cool studio, I think, it's, I think it's gonna be pretty cool, so yeah, um, but yeah, it's a work in progress. Um, but yeah, so this is this is the studio. I'm not again. I'm not done with it. But um, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, here we go. Um, let's go ahead and get into this Naruto character spin the wheel. Um, let's go ahead and go over here to the stats or whatever. Okay, no. You go over here. Okay, where do we go to see the... Okay, here we go. Alright, so here's the characters I got. We got... We got Kakashi Harake. We got Orochimaru, Naruto Uzumaki, Gara. Or Gara. Or Gara, Gara. You know, Sasuke Uchiha, my favorite Naruto character. Nagato or Pain. Boruto Uzumaki. Hinata Hyuga. Sakura Huono. Jiraiya. Mara Uchiha. Itachi Uchiha. Minato Uzumaki. Luckily, my guy, Deidara. Shikamaru, Sarada Uchiha, and Zabuza. So that's pretty much all of them. Some of these guys are, actually, all these guys are from, from the original Naruto. Oh, except for Boruto and um, Madara. I think is Madara in the, the original. I don't remember. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Madara is in it. I'm still watching Naruto. I'm, I just started watching it. I'm still getting a lot of knowledge about it. Um, I'm on season three of the original. I'm heading into season four. Once I finish up with all the seasons, I'm going to hit the Shippuden. And then once I finish up with Shippuden, I'm going to Boruto. So, yeah. Um, still a work in progress. So, yeah. but So, how this is going to go is, as I do with my Beyblade stuff, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to tell you, if you guys don't know what like the character, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the character. And then I'm just going to rate them based on what they... Just write, just write them, I don't know, just write them based on how good they are in the anime. Alright guys, first spin of the rating. Here we go, who are we going to be rating? And it will be Naruto. Okay, the main character himself. Okay, so a little bit backstory about Naruto. Naruto is, okay, wait, I, I got a snap, okay. Um, Naruto is, Naruto, um has this thing he was born in the hidden leaf village and um yeah and there's this thing inside of him named karama which is actually the night aka the nine-tailed fox which is actually what killed or what attacked the um hidden leaf village and killed most of the uchiha clan or some of the uchiha clan um yeah so yeah and then because of that somebody had to 
sacrificed herself. I think I don't know if it was Minato or not, but somebody had to sacrifice herself to kill Kurama, and the spirit of Kurama went inside Naruto. So every time Naruto gets all fired up and he gets pushed to his limit, and when he really needs Kurama, Kurama comes to his aid and helps him to fight battle. So yeah, Naruto is a ninja. He ha he is friends with Naruto. No, oh my God, he is friends with um. He's friends with Sasuke Uchiha, which is my favorite character, and he's friends with Nard or with um, Sakura Haru. No, I'm, I'm getting brain farts. Um, yeah, and he is, he is, happens to be what the seventh Hokage in Boruto. Speaking of Boruto, um, Naruto is the father of Boruto Uzumaki. So, yeah, so in Boruto, Naruto, and Hinata Hyuga, which actually likes Naruto since the first Naruto, um, has a kid, and it's, you know, it's, it's Hinata. And then Sasuke and, um, Sakura end up having a baby, which is actually Sadara. Uh, Hinata and, um, Hinata and Naruto, Naruto ha end up having another baby, which is Himiwari. Uzumaki, I'm not putting her in the list though because she's really not an, an important character. No offense, not as important as Boruto. So Bo Naruto does have a lot of modes. He has Sage of Six Paths, which has in a collaboration with Karama. He has Sage mode, well, well Sage of Six Path, Baron mode. Um, he he can't go Shotting Gun or Renegon because that's only that's an Uchiha thing. Um, like, like Sasuke and Madara can do some stuff like that. Um, he has this hidden technique called the Rasengan. Um, I think he was the first ever one to do it. Either was I don't know. It was I don't think Naruto, I don't know if Naruto was the first to do it, but called the Rasengan it is basically like a, a power that it's like a little orb thing that it's like a little power orb of power that comes from your hand, and if you hit somebody with it, it can cause a bunch of damage. So yeah. Um, Naruto is a really skilled ninja. He was born in a hidden leaf village. He was pretty much abandoned most of his life. He was n neglected most of his life because of the um, attack of the night-tailed fox. Everybody knew that the spirit of the night-tailed fox, was, which is what attacked the hidden leaf village, was inside Naruto. So everybody wanted to stay away as possible. So Naruto, w pretty act he's pretty good in the anime. He's defeated a bunch of characters. He's beaten Pain. He's beaten Gara. He's beaten Sasuke, of course. Um, Sasuke and Naruto had a little fight in uh, in Shippuden where they where Naruto used his Rasengan and Sasuke used his Shidori, and they both Rasengan and Shidori met. Both their arms got taken off. Unfortunately, Sasuke lost his arm, and then but but lost an arm because in Boruto he has only one arm because of that, and. Naruto has two because he used the chakra to re re and re bring back his other arm that got taken off from the uh, clash in Shippuden. So because of Naruto's goofiness but quickness, I'll give him I'll give him I'll give him an eight, straight eight for Naruto. I also did forget to mention that Naruto has many powers or jutsus like the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Um, he has the summoning jutsu. And some more, too. So yeah, Naruto. That's it for Naruto. Okay, moving on. We are going to be rating, and it's going to be Itachi Uchiha. Okay, um, this one's gonna be a little more dark. Itachi Uchiha was Sasuke Uchiha's brother. I don't know what he was to Madara. I know he was a part of the family. Um, Itachi is. Sasuke's big brother. Um, the thing about this is Itachi and Sasuke grew up doing things together. He is also a part of the Akatsuki, which is a group of, I guess, shinobis, and they just take out everybody. So yeah, the leader of that group is Pain, aka Nagato. So yeah, or P Nagato, aka Pain, whatever. Um, if you're my dog in the background, sorry. Itachi, um... I guess it had something to do with Kurama, the nine-tailed fox. I don't know the attack. Um, he murdered him and Sasuke's mother and father when they were little, and I really don't know much about Itachi. All I know is that he's a, that he's that he murdered his parents, 
and that he joined the Akatsuki when he got grown up. Um, and because of that, it made so it made that Sasuke's mission to find Itachi and kill him because of what he did to his parents. Considering the fact that Itachi is an H is an Uchiha, he has the power of Sharingan and Renegon. Um, he does possess. I, I can he do Shidori? I don't know if he can. I don't think he can because only Sasuke and Kakashi can do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was I was wrong about that. He can do a rim win really. I I, th I believe he can go Susano because you know he's again he's an Uchiha, um, but he can also do win release Jutsu. He also does this move called Totsuka Blade. Um, Bryce told me about it. It's apparently it takes up a bunch of chakra to use. Um, so yeah, yeah I guess I'll give Itachi a five only because I don't know him much about that way. I still. I'm only in season three of the original Naruto. I'm not all the way in yet. So, yeah, Bryce is in like season four or five of Shippuden, which comes after the regular Naruto, and then after Shippuden comes Boruto. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, five for Itachi. Once I get more into to, 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 into the series, then I'll find out more. And yeah. That's it for Itachi. Next up, we are going to be raiding Zabuza. Okay, so this is a guy from the original Naruto. Um, one of the very one of one of the, probably one of those hardest villains to fight. Um, Kakashi, Sasuke, and Naruto were fighting him. He also Sas Zabuza also had a little had like his I guess you can say his apprentice or his sidekick with him. Her name was Haku. Um, she's been serving Zabuza since she was little. Um, I don't know really much about Zabuza. All I know is that he's a bad guy and that he did find Haku when she was little and, ha and he taught Haku how to fight, taught her, taught her uh, ninjutsu, uh, taijutsu, and yeah, taught her how to, how, how to be a ninja and or a jonin or whatever. But yeah, um, and yeah, and he died next to her um Zabuza didn't really care for Haku he did only use her for his own um for his own satisfaction and getting stuff done until Kakashi made him see what he's done and then they just they died okay he did get reanimated by Orochimaru some a couple of se like two seasons later um so yeah yeah or by it was either Orochimaru or Kabuto, they got reanimated by, or somebody else. Um, but yeah, yeah. Zabuza does carry a giant sword. I don't know. He can do, he can do wind, water, water gate jutsu, or water no water prison jutsu, which is basically a prison made of water that traps your op opponent in until you can. You're the only one that can break him out. Um, so yeah, Zabuza. I felt bad for him in the end, so I'll give him maybe a set. I'll give him a seven. Yeah, I'll give him a seven. Yes, I'm ranking Zabuza higher than Itachi. I know you guys are like, what? That's only because I know Zabuza more than I know Itachi, and I know, it, which is kind of disappointing, because you know I love the Itachi family like Madara, Uchiha, Itachi Uchiha, Sasuke. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. So, all right, moving on. Okay, now we're going to be. Rating Boruto Uzumaki or Boruto Uzumaki, which is he is the son of Naruto Uzumaki, which in Boruto he Naruto is the seventh Hokage, um, the Hidden Leaf Village. That means he is like the he, it's like the president of their village. Um, so yeah, um, Boruto Uzumaki he possesses a lot of what Naruto and he he inherits a lot from Naruto. Um, I'm guessing since he, see, he I, knowing he's an Uzumaki, I, I'm, I'm, pr I'm gonna guess he can go Sage as a six pass or Sage mode or whatever. Um, he does Rasengan. Um, he has his own little jutsus. He doesn't copy everything Naruto does. Um, but yeah, he can do a lot. Nar Boruto, I like Boruto. He's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, uh, he has a, f a lot of friends. He has Sadara, He's friends with Sadara Uchiha, which is the daughter of 
Sakura Haruno and Sasuke Uchiha, which they're all grown up in Boruto, because the Boruto takes Boruto takes place about maybe like fifteen or sixteen years later after Shippuden. So yeah, um, yeah, Boruto is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll give Boruto a nine just because I love Boruto. Um, I like Boruto a lot. This isn't the official rating for like who's stronger than who this is just my opinion this is all in my opinion i just like boruto i like boruto more than i like naruto i don't know why i just do all right moving on okay here we go and jiraiya okay so jiraiya after minato died jiraiya was basically naruto's father figure i don't really know any like like origin on him um, I know he is a sage, the Toad Sage, or as freaking Naruto likes, Naruto likes to call him, the Pervy Sage, which because he likes to, he's a novel novelist. He likes to novel a lot, and he freaking does novelists on like girls and stuff, which is like pretty weird. Um, so he's a perv. He's like the he he's the Mineta of he's the Mineta of Naruto. Um, Jiraiya, it basically taught Naruto everything he knows, up to where he's the seventh Hokage. Um, yeah. Yeah, so Naruto or Jiraiya likes Naruto. Yeah, Jiraiya. Yeah, okay. What I'm trying to say is Jiraiya raised Naruto for most of his life because Minato died when he was little, thanks to the whole nine tailed Karama fox attack, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> So Jiraiya, yeah. So Jiraiya does have a lot of jutsus. I don't know what I think he can do. Possess. He can do. Um, I think he. Yeah, he can do summoning jutsu. I know he can do that. Jiraiya is a good character. The only thing that I really know the most about Jiraiya is that he got killed by the Akatsuki or by Pain. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, moving on. So Jiraiya gets, I guess, I don't know. Mm, he's a six. Okay, Madara Uchiha. Madara is probably the most powerful Uchiha there is. Um, probably, the, yeah, if he's probably the most powerful one, I think. Madara lived to be like a thousand years old. He's like a thousand something years old in Boruto or whatever, or 2000 or something. Madara Uchiha is probably, is the, he's the Uchiha of all Uchi Uchiha's. Like, he can summon, he can possess Sharingan, he can possess Susano, he can possess Renegon, basically everything Sasuke Uch and, and Itachi can do. Um, but he's more, more powerful than them. He can go, I did some research on him last night. He can go, yeah, he can go Renegon, Sharingan, he can go, yeah, he can go, he has a lot of moves. Uh, I forgot what moves he had, though. I know he has a lot of them. He has, he has some cool moves. Um, I know he can go, can Madara go stage a six pass? I think he can. I don't, no, I thought that was only, only an Uzumaki thing. Uh, Madara is pretty cool, so I'll give Madara a nine, because Madara is pretty powerful. He's pretty powerful. He can do, oh, he can do Planetary Devastation. That's also another one he can do, so that's really cool. Alright, Sakura Horono. I don't really don't know much about her. I'll give her a straight three because I know nothing about her. Um I know her and Eno, which was her ex friend, best friend. They like simp they both simp over Sasuke, like since the original Naruto. Um Naruto had a crush on Sakura, but Sakura liked Sasuke. Um, they ended up getting married, having Sakura and Boruto. Um, yeah, from what Bryce told me, Sakura was apparently really good in 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 uh in Shippuden. Um, which is actually okay. I was pretty surprising because Sakura wasn't really the wasn't the she wasn't the best. She was like the most she was like the smartest one, but wasn't the best. Uh, sh Shinobi. So, um, yeah, Sakura gets, like, a three because she's not really important. 
She's even lucky I put her on the list, so. All right, Minato Uzumaki. Um, he is the only one to... He's actually the last. He's actually the only one to last long against Minato. Or no, Minato. Wait, no. He was the only one. He's the one to last the most against Indra. If you don't know who Indra is, he is a Otsutsuki, which is one of the... Um, which is the Otsus Indra was the creator of the Uzumaki clan. So, which is actually cool. I wonder not the Uzumaki clan, the Uchiha clan. Crap, I don't know why I said the Uzumaki clan. Uchiha clan. Um, but yeah, Minato was the Uzumaki of all Uzumakis, just like Madara was the Uchiha of all Uchihas. Madara, or uh, uh, Minato was actually pretty good. He was um pretty fast um yeah he couldn't defeat indra but he d just did a pretty good chance against indra um but yeah him minato was pretty good he was the father of naruto uzumaki he died when naruto was born because of the whole karama thing and karama getting sealed inside of naruto because of the spell the, the seal um that's what brings out naruto's best today so yeah thanks minato Minato gets a straight 10, because Minato's a goat, so yeah, Minato gets a straight 10. Okay, here we go. Shikamaru Nara, he is a shadow shinobi, he possesses shadow things, like she has the shadow jutsu, not the shadow clone jutsu, that's what Naruto possesses in Kakashi. Um, I think Daedara can do it too, yeah. Shikamaru was the only one in the tuning exams that can do shadow moves. Uh, shadow Possession Jutsu was one of his um, main ones. Uh, it's where his sh he he takes possession of his I guess his, I guess his shadow takes possession of his opponent, which is pretty cool I guess. Um, yeah, he was pretty cool. He did kill somebody. He did kill somebody. Well, he didn't kill him, but he, like, buried him in the ground. Like, not because they died, but, like, I don't know. He did something to him. Shikamaru was a good character. He was one of the... He was a chill one. Um, yeah. He did good in the tuning exams. Um, except where he forfeited, even though he was about to win the match. I don't know why he forfeited. There was something wrong with him, but... Shikamaru gets a, a 7. I'll give Shikamaru a 7. There we go. Okay, Sasuke Uchiha. Um, Sasuke was an Uchiha, you know. Um, he was born with the Uchiha clan. You know, he was born along with Madara. Well, he wasn't born with him, but he was. He's along. He was family bloodline of Madara and Itachi. Itachi again was a part of the Akatsuki. Um, Sasuke was a part of the Akatsuki as well, but for like a month, and then he quit. Um, so it's been his mission since, since because back with the Itachi's thing, um, when Itachi killed him and Sasuke's parents, um, Sasuke's only goal since then was to track down Itachi and kill Itachi, um, because of what he did. He did end up killing Itachi. Um, I don't know how he did it. Um, yeah, but yeah, Sasuke is a very He's my favorite character. He's my favorite character out of all the other characters in Naruto, the Naruto universe. Sasuke takes my first place. He has a lot of modes. He can go run a gun, double shotting gun, shotting gun. Um, uh, he has a Susano, and he has this thing called compressed Susano, where he wears a Susano like armor, um, which is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah. And he can he has a lot of good moves, which is he has one for instance called the Shidori, which he learned again, he learned from Ita from Kakashi. Um he also has Indra's arrow, which is another powerful move of his, which he got from Indra. Um and yeah, he has the Lion's Barrage where he just which he just made up by himself in the original Naruto. Um Yeah, so I like I love Sasuke. Uh even though I love Sasuke, there has been some 
different. There has been some difficulties with him. There, there has been things I don't like about him. Um, yeah, there, yeah, he's lost a, a bunch of fights. He's lost to Rockley once. Um, in the tuning exams where he faced Gara, uh, it was canceled because of the the Sound Village attacking with the Kaze Kage, which I don't know why. Well, no, actually, it was Orochimaru. The Ka it wasn't the Kaze Kage. It was Orochimaru. Um, that that it was he was disguised as Orochimaru. It was a um a transformation jutsu or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then he attacked the Lord Hokage. So yeah, the Hidden Sound Village. The Sound Villagers did attack. Did um sabotage the tuning exam which led to Gara and um, Sasuke's fight to stop because people were interfering. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Gara was about to summon Shukaku until this whole thing with the, with the Sound Village happened. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I'll give... I'm going to give Sasuke an 8. Um, he, there's also another move that he does called Shidori Stream, which I think is what he killed Itachi with. Shidori Stream. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I need to do Gara. Okay, we can do Nagato. We can do Pain. Okay, Pain. Um, Pain was... Did, didn't really grow up where Nagato is his real name. He goes by Pain, though, because he's about, as part of the Akatsuki. He didn't grow up in a stable environment, or he didn't grow up in a, with a good life. Um, a lot of wars were happening around the time he was born and stuff like that. Um, I think about around the time he was, like, little was when, was the Shinobi World War. Um, yeah, but he didn't really grow up in a good environment or life. Um, he grew up. He wanted to, he wanted to be a peaceful person. He, you know, he wanted to fight for justice and stuff like that, like any, like, good Shinobi would. Um, but then stuff happened, and he didn't really, he just... He come to realize that that was just a bunch of waste. So he, um, he created the group called the Akatsuki, and he he and he went by Pain, which um, again is his name or not his real name. Nagato is his real Pain, but his name, but Pain is what he goes by, in the Akatsuki, um, basically a group again just kills just to do it for justice for their own version of justice, um. Naruto did kill Pain, so Pain died to Naruto um, at the very end. Um, Pain, or no, Ka no Kakashi fight, fought, um, Kakashi fought the Akatsuki and fought Pain, and he died from exhaustion. So, yeah, the Akatsuki, or Pain, one of them, killed, um, killed Kakashi. And then after K Pain died from Naruto, after, before he died, he snapped everybody back into existence. So the hidden, everything was restored. Kakashi was back alive. Everything was was alive. So yeah, um, yeah. So Pain did die. And it was pretty sad. Um, and I guess the I guess the rest of the Akatsuki just died as well, except for Sasuke, because only Sasuke was there for like a month. Itachi ended up dying too. I'm pretty sure. I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, Pain died so i'll give pain maybe a seven um yeah i'll give pain a seven here we go okay i needed to do gara because um i really had to do gara i need to go ahead and get gara out the way i know it's against the rules just to you know do gara or like spin it like by myself um but I needed to go ahead and do Gara because Garto Gara was a Garta Gara was a very um important person and he played a very important role in the Naruto uh franchise. Um as a kid he was um neglected. He was just like Naruto when he was a kid. He had a demon inside him named uh known as Shukaku. Which is which has similarities to Karama because Karama was inside Naruto and Shukaku was inside Gara. Gara was from the Hidden Sand Village. Um, Gara was neglected most of his life. He had nobody that cared for him, and the one person that he that he did care for, he accidentally killed. I don't know why, but um, yeah. 
Um, well, no, I don't think he, yeah, yeah, he accidentally killed him because he didn't know that was them until they actually revealed. Um, but yeah, Gara did have a really tough childhood. Um, he ended up hating the world, only caring for himself and his sand, his sand. He has like this gore on his back that carries that put that carries his sand with. So the in the sand, in the sand like does everything by itself. Like Gar doesn't even have to tell it to do anything. The sand just does it all by itself. Um, so any so any time Gara gets hit or tries to injure somebody that tries to attack Gar, the shield will just block their punches because um, the shield the sand, the sand protects Gara, so Gara doesn't even get hurt. There's only like there's only I think I believe there's so from so from where I'm at in the series there's only been two people that have that I've hit Gara because of the sand because of how fast they are Rock Lee and Sasuke, um, yeah Gara was he had played a very important role, um he ended up hating the world all he really cared for was killing, and loving himself and loving the sand so yeah because that's it, it was there all his life, um. Gara did end up fighting Naruto at some point. Um, Naruto did end up summoning a toad with a summoning jutsu called Gamabunta, which is a giant toad, sage toad or whatever. Um, and Gara transformed into Shukaku, did the Shukaku jutsu thing he tried to pull on against Itachi or Kaka Itachi, Kakashi, Sasuke in the tuning exams, the final tuning exams. Um, yeah, but failed miserably because Itachi or... Oh my god, because Sasuke used a Shidori and pierced um, Gara's shoulder, his right shoulder right here, and for the first time ever, Gara saw blood, and he, he hated it, he got mad. Um, so back to the whole Shukaku thing against Kabapunta and Naruto. Naruto did win, um, Gara got knocked out, and then because of Naruto's help and stuff like that, Gara did come to realize what his, the things that he had done were a mistake or mistakes and he ended up being good again and he cared for Naruto and he wanted to be Naruto's friend and they ended up being friends and he ended up being good a good guy um soon enough he became the Kaze Kage of his sand village and yeah Kaze Kage of his sand village he was also the commander for the fourth for the fourth shinobi world war um, for his, for his, um, he was leading the pack, pretty much, for his, um, country, and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Gara does have a lot of good moves, he has some good, uh, modes, too, he has Sand Sage, which is basically Sage of Six Pass, or Sage Mode, or whatever, but with Sand, um, he has Baron Mode, which I didn't know he had, um, he does have, like, some, okay, so he does have some good, some good, um, he does have, some cool moves too. He had, he has sand coffin where he just where he just like wraps you in sand. He just buries you, and then he has giant layered sand burial, which is actually where he buries you with with a bunch of sand. And then the, by the by the by the squeeze of his palm, crushes you, punch like tons of pounds on top of you. It crushes you every which way, and you just die. So yeah, um, he also has this one move called. Um, sand waterfall funeral or sand tsunami in the English dub, where it's just a whole like a whole big wave of sand just comes on top of you and it just crushes you alive. So, yeah. So Gara does play a very important role in Naruto. He's also in Boruto, but he has a different haircut in Boruto. I don't like his haircut in Boruto. If you ask me, I hate it. I'm gonna give Gara a straight ten because Gara, one of the most powerful board or Naruto characters in the whole series in the whole franchise. So yeah, Gara is a pretty cool is a pretty cool character. Um, I I wish I have time to do Rock Lee and, and Kakashi, but I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do them or in Orochimaru or Shatara. But I'm not gonna do them because I'm almost out of time. I got 34 minutes in. Um, yeah, Hinata Yuga does the Bakugan or whatever. Bakugan or B Byakugan. That's what it's called. The Byakugan. Basically. It's it's something to do. It's like a chakra sensing move type of move, um, pretty effective. But yeah, as I was saying, Gara, one of the main char one of the most awesome characters, and plays the most important roles in Naruto. Gara Gara just happens to be Bryce's favorite character. Um, 
So guys, if Gara, if you ever and don't ever talk about Gara in front of Bryce, because if you talk about Gara in front of Bryce and Gara Bryce hears you, he will literally go off on you and say, Gara is the most powerful character in the world, and talk about how much Gara, how good Gara is and stuff like that. So yeah. But anyway, guys, I hate. I, I wish I could go on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Me rating Naruto characters. See you guys in the next video. Shadori out.